Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into this week's Juggling Highlight Reel. I'm Sean, your host, and I'm going to tell you about some of the best juggling videos I found on the web from this past week. Missed you all during my three-week hiatus where I went to the RIT Juggle Inn. I saw a lot of really amazing jugglers, cool people, you all should be jealous. And I did a lot of work on my house, which turned into a way bigger project than I expected it to be. So thanks for your kind words and thoughts as I've been working through this. Alright, let's get to those videos. The first video this week, the one you've been watching, comes from the IJA, a Tricks of the Month video from Cynthia Bertrand, aka La Flacca. She does all kinds of cool things in this video, but notably she explores different ways that she can bounce a club on her head amidst a juggling pattern. She also posted a video on her personal channel with her friend Carly, you should definitely check that out. Peter Jan Horner posted a video of the things he's been working on in the past couple months. It's a little bit over two minutes long, and it's called Three Clubs in 16 Locations. He quickly cuts from scene to scene, experimenting with different tricks and patterns with three clubs. Really entertaining video. This next video comes from Ambuance Abundance, and seriously, I think this video is so fun. I love this. He takes a table that has juggling balls in it out to a field, sets it up with a computer, and then kind of mimics a sight swap simulator. It's almost like he's dueling with the sight swap emulator. Really cool idea with great filming, a beautiful background, and pretty good music too. This next one comes from Booga Bang, where he experiments what it looks like to add some rhythm and juggling together. So whether he's snapping, slapping, tapping or clapping, beatboxing or bebopping, you get to see some interesting riffs that may inspire you to incorporate some rhythm to your juggling. Andrea Borini posted this video of the stuff he's been working on lately. Mostly 5 and 7 ball stuff, pretty solid, it's fun to watch, he even caught one of his personal bests on camera. As always, it's super inspiring to see someone putting work into juggling and watching it pay off. Krauser released another fantastic Diablo video where he does some really cool stuff, in particular with three Diablos. He also speeds things up with four Diablo low and then blows our mind even more when he does five Diablo right in front of him. Only for a second, but still impressive. I was also excited to see him using more than one camera angle editing it all together to make a really fun to watch video. Next up, Luca Fermingus partnered up with a couple of his friends to break five records in five minutes. And they actually did it in under five minutes. Good times, check it out and subscribe. Don't forget that you can find a link to a playlist in this video's description with links to all the videos in this video. Believe it or not, there's a little thing called Hooping Idol. It's like American Idol except for hoopers. This year there were 21 contestants and each week they have to make a video based on a different theme. This week is gothic. The submission comes from Hula Hooping Hannah and it just goes to show that the circus arts aren't just about the object being manipulated but also about the scenery and the story that goes along with it. Here's a promo video for a new set of really cool cards from Cardistry Touch called Zendo, performed by Cedric Pappy, where he just demonstrates how awesome these cards look when they're being manipulated. Also, he's a fantastic cardistry artist. This video is from Elias Sandequi and features Palomo Pujol. She's from Spain and is a freestyle footballer and footbagger. While showing off her impressive skills, she also tells us a little bit about her story. Well, that is if you understand Spanish, which I don't. Kendama video for the week featuring Jake Fisher, a rising Kendama star. Truly remarkable. We get to hear a little bit about his story and also see some Kendama tricks. Here's a promo video from Jessica Savala. From a circus family, been to circus school, originally from Brazil, but from what I can tell lives in Germany now. In this video you get to see clips from her main performance where she works primarily with clubs 3, 4, and 5. With 5 clubs she's doing triple, maybe quadruple spins I had trouble seeing because they were moving so fast. She also does some stuff with catching balls in baskets on her waist. You may have noticed, I sure did, that a theme this week is there were a lot of videos, or more than usual, posted by ladies, not just in juggling but the circus arts in general. I was really excited to see this, and I hope that we'll start to see more and more videos that reflect how diverse our community is. 
Another Diablo video, this time from Hiromiki. I love posting videos that have a Japanese audience because they're so audible with their praise and admiration of the performer. And this video is no exception. They ooh and awe throughout the whole thing. And rightfully so, Hiromiki does some really neat stuff. A couple notable tricks, he did the Diablo equivalent of a tap back with a club, where he kind of tossed the Diablo up and then tapped it with his hand back onto the string. He really ramps up at the end of the video where he does 360s with not one but two Diablos on and off his string. Julius Pru released a nice video where he shows off his skills filming around the beautiful New Zealand. What stuck out to me in this video is that juggling is life, or life is juggling, or life is a part of juggling. It seemed a lot like a vlog to me. Julius was just traveling through New Zealand and taking his juggling props with him. A short little video from Colorado Films where Francisco Bravo demonstrates some sight swap from some cool camera angles. There's also some pretty solid five ball back crosses. From Yuko Swim, a bounce juggling video where he demonstrates all he's learned in the past two years since he started doing bounce juggling. I really liked how he combined bounce juggling with toss juggling and came up with some really cool patterns. He's also able to toss those balls one direction and get them to come right back to him. I'm not sure if that's the type of ball he's using or if he's putting spin on the ball. Either way, it's a pretty cool effect. This video only has 230 views so far, but I think it deserves a little bit more, so make sure you get over there and watch the whole thing. The last video I want to talk about comes from, you guessed it, Omni Toivonen, where he performs some beautiful juggling in what I would say is the epitome of European juggling, where he's not necessarily concerned with toss juggling consistent cyclical patterns, but is just as interested in figuring out how to make something look beautifully graceful and flowing, even when he's starting and stopping in a non-linear way. I'm also pretty excited about that box pattern with clubs. All around fantastic video, and if you don't believe me, go and check it out. That 260 plus likes and zero dislikes ought to prove something. Hope you guys enjoyed those videos as much as I did. Always super impressed with what jugglers put out. Before I go, I just want to tell you I'm really excited about some super cool plans I have for Everyday Juggler that hopefully will materialize in the next few months. Once I get done with these house renovations, I'm going to go full speed ahead on those. Also, don't forget that you can find me on Patreon, patreon.com slash everydayjuggler, where for as little as $1 a month, you can get access to cool bonus content, extra interviews, and a full list of the videos I consider every single week. All right, that's all for this week. So until next time, keep on juggling. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, be sure to support the channel. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe.